So factors that decrease air pollution. In other words, how do we reduce these chemicals in the atmosphere that are at levels that are harmful? Just throw them at me. Wind helps, like, separate or move to another area, so take away from excessive in a specific area. What else? Heat. Heat. Combustion. Well, I mean, we could say a chemical reaction, and heat can drive it, so. Good. Water washes away. In this case, it's like sea spray, and here it's rain, so yeah. Good. So when a particle is heavier in the air, or heavier than air, then it'll fall to the ground, so it'll, it'll get um, released from the atmosphere. Cities. Cities. So urbanization in general. Buildings trap heat or, or pollutants, I should say. So if you, if you live in a very congested, like, city, you see more pollutant, like, floating because it has nowhere to go. What else? Mountains. Good. So hills and mountains. I'm going to talk about it now. You're going to see. Same thing. They're blocking the flow. Think about it that way. What else? What is it showing? This pattern. Rising. Rising. So high temperatures promote chemical reactions. What else? I'll just... Volatile organic compounds from, like, plant life. And then this grasshopper effect. When a pollutant is uh, transported from tropical to polar regions, they consider that what's called the grasshopper effect. Whoops. It shouldn't be there. And then temperature inversions, which I'm gonna stop, which, which I'm gonna talk about it also. So these we're gonna talk about a little bit more. So if you look at this diagram, this is a normal situation of temperature. You've got, let's say, warm air as you um, get off, let's say, the troposphere and you enter the atmosphere, there's a, like a warm layer of air. And then as you go up, it gets colder. When you have a temperature inversion, you get a cold layer below the warm layer. So since pollutants should follow the pattern of rising and kind of diluting as they go up, instead they're being forced back down and then they form this layer of what we call smog, or, or a big layer of pollution. And here is a video to show you what that looks like. I think it's, we've talked a lot about ozone um, being a uh, great thing in the stratosphere, but, cause it's our sunscreen. So without it, and, and since we're losing it, we're at risk of being directly affected by ultraviolet radiation. But in the lower layer, so below the stratosphere is the what? troposphere so stratosphere good ozone troposphere is bad ozone it's a toxic chemical and it damages plants and again leads to respiratory infections just like any other um, pollutant it's just not a primary pollutant yeah all right so we've got um, outdoor air pollution major problems that we're gonna focus on what are they look at this picture what does it look like I just talked about it Smog, okay. What else? Acid, Acid rain. Group three, uh, group four, five, and six should know this. Global warming, and that's part of climate change. Got it. Acid rain, ozone depletion. Good. Right, because we talked about this yesterday. So cars be contributor to pollution. Cars produce what primary pollutants? Carbon monoxide, nitrous oxides, sulfur oxides, volatile organic compounds and particulate matter. They produce everything, yes? Good. And those, so we're going to go down here. These are my pollutants being emitted into the atmosphere through different sources. And somehow they react with sunlight and they form smog. And ozone is actually part of this reaction. You see ozone right here? The gas, which is O what? O3. So you want to write that down in case you didn't know. 
Good. That could have been one of your wheel questions. So LA had, and I put big problem. I actually added those. Had one of the largest reported cases of, of photochemical smog. And to the point, I, this is really old, but it cost five, cost five health impacts. What? So it cost 520 million per year. And this is a, a map of how many students had to miss school. Yeah because of smog and and that has to do with the financing or whatever but due to respiratory infections yeah and los angeles you see as part of the biggest part of the graph so california in general was bad they actually had the largest movement of going green of any state i think in the u.s because of this and other things but 